Hey everyone, Horseman here, and today I'm going to be bringing to you Warhammer Chaos. It is now 2021, and the big question is, is this game any good? And is it worth the money? I uh, decided that I wanted to go ahead and try it out. I decided that I wanted to see what it was all about. I've seen so many mixed reviews about this, and um, I really couldn't find anything that was was either selling me to buy it immediately or trying or or anything to, to just keep me away like saying no this is an absolute shit game you don't want to get it so just don't with that being said i decided to go ahead and drop the money uh just because i have nothing better to do for the next 14 days because i pinged positive for covid um and i whatever I'm just going to go ahead and try this out and see what it's all about. So this is my first time going with this game. And so you're going to be seeing everything unedited, just like, OK, this is the game. So All right. Here are my options. These are the classes uh, that we have to choose from. We have an Empire Soldier, a high, high Elf Mage, a Slayer, Wood Elf Scout, Dwarf Engineer, and witch hunter and from what i understand the dwarf engineer and the witch hunter are two of the more new classes that have been added uh post release of the game and um the witch hunter it seems to be the most interesting to me um as it does uh blades and loaded pistols so i kind of wanted to see what that was all about it's a mix between uh both melee and ranged and some of these other classes seem to be that way too if i'm not mistaken wharf engineer okay i don't know about this one traps okay so this is like strictly ranged character no problem a slayer so this could be like your your Berserker, your traditional Berserker, and from the looks of this, this is very, like, it seems to be very stay-in-your-lane type of archetypes here. It doesn't seem like there's going to be any real, um, straying away from the already proven path of what these uh, different classes are. And your sword and board. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and see. I, I do want to play the Witch Hunter. Um, this is actually what drew me to wanting to get the game. Um, so let's go ahead and get this started. Here we go. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Not gonna go anything crazy here. Graphics. down alright alright here we go the people of the empire have good reason to fear the night as darkness falls and the twin it's kind of a weird rise, window they bar their doors against the there. evil forces that? lurking in their midst witches Sorcerers, Don't tell me by mutants, doing my HUD size, from the it made the whole screen smaller. The Reichwald, to the oh, that would be weird. Nome, they practice their forbidden rites, offering up the souls of the innocent to appease their dark gods. Only a rare few have the courage and skill to hunt these heretics, countering their foul magics with cold steel and cleansing flame. They are known as the witch hunters the witch hunter the empire's witch hunters are holy men scouring the land of heretics in the name of sigma and the holy church it is a dangerous and demanding profession and you are a master of your craft you were a null when news of the chaos invasion reached the city many feared that the end of the world was at hand 
as Magnus rallied the city's nobles and raised an army to resist the invaders, the call went out across the land for the witch hunters to join the cause. Soon, you were marching north with the rest of the army. As a witch hunter, you knew hey, that it looks like Jack Sparrow. the horrors that waited at Kisner. The odds of victory were slim. While the two armies fought, you guarded Magnus from the enemy repelling one assault after another. Just as the battle seemed lost, Magnus led his knights in a desperate charge against the Chaos Lord and his bodyguards. Along with a handful of others, you held the rest of the horde at bay until Asavar Kuhl had fallen. Once the battle was won and the dead laid to rest, you returned with Magnus to Nuln, where a hero's welcome awaited you. Magnus will soon be elected emperor, the first elected in 300 emperor, huh? years. You have accepted a place in his retinue as a reward for your deeds at Kislev. The battle has been won, and the Empire reunited. But the enemy has agents everywhere, and you know that it's only a matter of time before they strike back. It was an age of lawlessness oh. and despair. Another one. A time of dark magic, treachery, <coughs> and war. I take it we're going to be listening to the game? It is a night made and evil deeds. And across the city, guardsmen clutch their weapons tightly and count the hours until the dawn. Sleep is hard to come by on a night such as this. The air is tense, and memories of the battle at Kislev leave you restless and on edge. Suddenly, a peal of thunder shatters the stillness, followed by a howling wind that shakes the tower to its foundations. Foul magic Narrator's curdles good. the air, and screams echo in the courtyard outside. The tower is under attack! Sounds like fighting in the courtyard. Uh, Best take oh a my look. god, look at my HUD is like in the middle of the screen. Well, that's not gonna fly. Okay, so clearly that needs to be fixed. Alright. I have to have a massive a HUD. Okay. Here we go. We're under attack. under attack. I've got to get to Magnus. Okay. Huh. That looks like a little bit of a stutter. <coughs> oh, I like that. What's going on? What is that stutter? You have to have VC. And I guess we'll have to see where this goes. Getting any type of stutter. The 3080s, come on now. Else is nice and smooth. Come on, dude. What's it? Thanks, Sigma, you're here. There's monsters everywhere. The tower's being overrun. Oh. Upstairs in the throne room, there's armor in a chest by the stairs. Take whatever you need, but hurry. So I have no armor or anything. And a killer sword and a killer jacket. And a stutter. I have to do this. Die, die, die. 
Sigmai. Sigmai. Give me strength. I like that. As you reach the throne room, the air seethes with foul magics. The Chaos Sorceress stands before the throne, and Magnus, the savior of the Empire, is caught within her spell. There is only one thing left to do. Shouting a challenge, you charge across the room, ready to give your life for the future Emperor. By the time you regain your senses, the battle is over. The Sorceress is gone, leaving you and Magnus for dead. The shouts of angry men fill the throne room, but these are not guardsmen. They are witch hunters like yourself, led by the infamous Heinrich Voss. You are under arrest for the murder of the Emperor Magnus, Voss declares. You try to tell him about the sorceress, but Voss refuses to listen. I see no sorceress here, he shouts. Only you and a room full of dead men. Confess your crimes, traitor. We will have the truth from you one way or another. After a week in the dungeons, you'll tell me everything I want to know. But before the witch hunter could make good on his threat, a commanding voice filled the room. Stop this madness at once, Tex, Loremaster of the High Elves, regards Voss coldly. Jürgen Heider speaks the truth, he said. It is you who have refused to listen. Teclis examines Magnus in silence. Looks he like lives, he's about to kiss him. the gods, the High Elf says at last. But he is in the grip of a powerful curse. It is only a matter of time before he succumbs. No one outside this room must know what happened here. If the people learn that Magnus has fallen, then everything he fought for will have been for nothing. The fate of the Empire lies in our hands. We must find this sorceress and end the curse before it's too late. If Magnus dies, the Empire dies with him. Doom, doom, doom. There are dark right, and terrible this. forces at work in the city, Herr Hyder. If we are to find the sorceress and defeat her, we must confront the dark cult that has taken root in Nuln and expose its secret master. Okay. Then we must call upon every <laughs> witch hunter in the city. We All cannot of them. risk it. If we unleashed the full fury of the witch hunters, it would lead to questions we dare not answer. No, Herr Hyder. We must work in secret if the Empire is to survive. Okay. So be it then. Where shall we begin? The attack on the tower came from the sewers that stretch beneath the city. This is an ARPG. Every first level is in the sewers. We're going to be fighting either rats, kobolds, or spiders. Your first task is simple. Enter the tunnels and drive the cultists back from the tower. I can actually fight some cultists? Kill everything in your path, but beware. There is no telling what foul things await you in the darkness. Spiders, rats, and kobolds, I told you. Alright, let's see what we got going. Kinda weird. Hi. Can I talk to anybody? To the sewers. Oh, there's the barrel. Yeah, I can do Start the game to apply these changes. Okay, so upon like first impressions, hold on. I'm fighting off a sinus infection too. Um, the first impressions, you know, I'm looking at the graphics, I'm looking at how the game feels, and I mean, it feels like a traditional, you know, ARPG. It doesn't look too or it doesn't feel too bad. So, you know, click to move. Yeah, you have your abilities here. 
Um, we'll see how it goes like one, two, three, four later on. Uh, cue to do your potions. Uh, nothing seems to be out of the ordinary just yet. Uh, loot drops, which is really important to me, of course. Um, more importantly is going to be whether or not that uh, it actually changes my appearance as well, because I absolutely feel that is very important uh, in, a, in an ARPG. You know, weapons should look cool and it should look good in my hand. My armor should eventually progressively get better, cool, you know, get better, not only in its stats, but also look cooler and then look that way on my on my body. So, you know, I ho do hope to see that uh, going forward. Uh, skill trees seem to be pretty bland. Um, there's certainly a lot of options, and I'm not sure if a lot of these are going to be passives or if these are going to be just straight up active skills. Stronger potions, invasion skills, general skills. Um, there's, There doesn't seem to be a, a rhyme or reason to how they went about putting this in here, so it looks like that this is going to be a bit of a learning curve. Um, I mean, I have points available Wait, I don't know what it is. oh I see I see so having okay level three I guess level three it unlocks requires level three okay and then I can use it and then I have those those points to equip I see what we're doing here uh, it's kind of a weird system I thought these points were going to buff the skills themselves um, Pierce, Pierce Superior, Pierce Mastered. So Pierce Mastered is going to take 18 points just to put in there. Okay. Requires level 18. I don't know what the max level is, but right now it looks like the highest level for any skill is 49. Oh, there's 50. Okay. A quest journal. Okay. Regular status. And whatever that is. No yet. All right, well, let's go to the sewers. Let's try this out. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of things I can explore. I mean, we've got a few doors over there, but. Let's get to the market while I can. The city streets are no place to be after dark. I mean, graphically, I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, there's a, there's a decent amount of detail here, but I can't zoom in. So I can't just, like, look at my character or look at the environments a little bit closer. It's not that I've been able to see so far. Uh, shadows look good. The amount of detail looks decent. I don't think that it looks worse or better than Last Epoch. Last Epoch might be a little bit better. Character models got something to be desired, though. Okay, I have a choice. Expedition, invasions, or main quest. So I guess these are things that I'm going to be able to unlock later on. Possibly endgame. Or maybe even after I complete the mission. Let's find out. All right, I'm still annoyed with that little flitter, the little stutter. Okay, obviously. Here's something, what is it? Oh. And you can see that my, you can definitely see that my, my mana, I don't know, what is this called? Is my resource, they don't even, what is this even called? My status. I have a name. Energy, that's what it is, it's just energy, okay. Ooh, that stutter is annoying. I need to catch ah, my breath. I see. So energy gets built by using my regular little pierce and spend that. Okay. Fair. I still don't know if that's supposed to be mine. 
somebody else's. Man, that is a much more effective ability than my sword. Which you will. What's this? Oh. If I just saw correctly, those things build up my energy a little bit faster. Pay attention. In and here. Yes, okay, so that's what that is. Builds up my energy. Is it random? Is it tied to a skill? Chest. Okay. Alright, so I got a sword too. Got a goofy hat. Definitely looks goofy. See in the corner there. Got a different shape. The blue one's got a little bit more fancier shape. Counter attack, huh? Oh, God. Okay. Cinematics, um, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the way they are, but I'm not exactly opposed to it either. If anything, that narrator's killing it. So that dude's doing a great job in reading. So much more effective. So if I do this, the infinite? Darn close. Oh man, I really like that ability. The ability to really use. I even bother letting him get into the melee range when you can do that. I must be patient. Okay, how about you go in there? That one's jacket. Duh. Got a fancy new jacket. It's better in all my stats. squad or something. He's a way over there. Okay, so clicking the button multiple times does not work so well. You just gotta hold the button down to shoot. Alright, that, that's fine. Oh, I see a chest. Anyway, I figure I, I, I'd play through maybe this first mission or something like that. You guys, a look at what to expect. Because, you know, in my opinion, the beginning is always the most critical. I need to catch my breath. If it can't uh, get into the game, you're not going to stay with the game. That matches my hat. 
Oh, I even got the thing that says coordinated. Achievement. Oh, I'm level three now, right? So I should be able to get more abilities. I don't know what these fragments are yet. Sure. They're gonna tell me, right? Got him. Let's see. Mr. Pink. Home a roll that removes any barriers and passes. Right. Oh, it's already there. It's already there. He's coming at level four. Oh, there we go. It's iron. Several traps in a circle. So I should also shoot. Guy, okay, swing my sword though. Is that it? Really, that's it, right there. What did I gain from that? From from a story standpoint, what did I gain from that? I can't even go back in. The tunnels surrounding the tower have been cleared. That's good. But I suspect there are larger heretic camps deeper in the sewers. I do not doubt it. The servants of Nurgle flourish in darkness and filth. Our battle against the cult has only just begun. Nurgle. So those things I was fighting are Nurgle bad guys. See, I like the Warhammer universe. I think it's outstanding, but I don't I am not familiar with a ton of the lore. I know a little bit. Just basically stuff that I've been watching from other YouTubers mostly. I think it's I'm not gonna try to say names because I'll probably mess it up. There is grim news from the tower. Voss has learned that a large group of Magnus's guardsmen have gone missing. He believes they might have pursued the cultists into the sewers during the attack. Someone needs to All find right, them so and try to get them space. out. We'll skip ahead if the cultists two. haven't trapped them yet, Noted. it's only a matter of time. Alright. Back to the sewers. Different, different version of the sewers. Here. Oh, where is this friend? 
Why were you acting so sus? All right, so another one of these. Okay, so not a big fan of how we go to different zones. Stutter. it's just because I'm recording not that it's any excuse I need to catch my breath God I can't zoom in I want to zoom in say hey to catch my breath. Okay. Yeah. Screenshot right there. I need to catch my breath. Seriously. And in this. Some time. There we go. Yeah, that was oddly satisfying. That was cool. Leveled up again, that's why. Duh. Killer jacket. Oh, did I, where's the jacket? Did I get up or? So this is the jacket that I just got. The other one that I had. Energy versus cost reduction. Damage. Or having more energy might be a little bit better. Oh, okay. Weapon. chance. I don't think that stat is going to matter all that much at this level. I need to catch my breath. I'm not 
Not ready. Good, you don't have to yell. Kind of cool. Oh, I do damage when I do that, even when I'm wearing my swords. Okay. I need to catch my breath. I'm not ready. Fragments are yet either. What are you? What are you used for? Okay, so that's that's a pretty cool enemy right there. Those little dudes make a big dude and they all split up. So I'm assuming the potion works in the same way that uh, the potion does in Diablo 3. It's unlimited, but it has a cooldown. Taste the pork that we eat. Ooh, I got a blue pistol. Damage. So I'm going to be doing a lot of item swapping for a while when so close to getting, a, you know, the blue drop. Hold on a second. Even these common uh, equipment seem to have extra stats. Some energies. Let's go off of just straight up armor versus oh. figure out these stats all right so I do have a new persecute against 
ready to energy. Here as a Slower. Here. Is it boss time? Second boss time. Okay, so I don't like that. Now I know why it was on its own button. Back there. Here. And the reason why I didn't like that was because I'm basically tied into that animation. It's like, ch -ch -ch -ch, as opposed to just having a that versus. I hope that's not like poopy rain. I need to catch my breath. Yeah. Sigma, give me strength. <laughs> Are you done? You good? No, you're not good. All right. Gotta collect my loot before I talk to the dying guy. Into a trap. Try to fight, but too many of them. Yeah. They took them. Oh. And I was ahead. still able to walk. Dragged them, screaming, into the darkness. Forget about me. Find the others. Okay. First, I gotta loot some more because money's important. Ooh, so our treasure chests. Killer trousers. All right, that. Metal production. Ooh, plus 23. Ooh, Link. Hey. All right. Ooh, look at that. Appearance. Oh, cool. Okay, so they also have a transmog system in place. All right. Anything that you unlock. Cool, cool, cool. Sorry about that. My boy came in, so I had to cover my face. It's gonna be a long two weeks, let me tell you. Weeks as a both a husband and a dad. Luckily, I'm working from home. It just seems weird, you know, like these levels just end abruptly. I don't know why whenever I have to talk is when I have to hiccup. It's like, just let me talk for crying out loud. Stop it with the hiccups. I found the soldiers. They had been lured into an ambush and most of them were killed. The cultists took the rest. 
the men were alive when they were taken? Yes. Yes. Which can only mean one thing. thing. They're making more bad guys. They are going to be used as sacrifices. Close enough. Offerings to the Lord of Pestilence in exchange for more power. We must do everything we can to prevent this. Go and make whatever preparations you require. Then return to me as soon as you are ready. I bet y'all just give me some really cool armor and weapons and I'll go do whatever you need me to do. All right. So I think that's Collector's Guild. Collector's Guild. I guess I'll go see what that is real quick before I call it a day. What I want to do is um, get a little bit further into the game. Uh, get in both story as well as character progression. Um, and do another video like an update video saying hey this is where I am uh, and then do a third one when I'm actually in the end game um, you know past the story and what uh, and whatnot because I you know I also don't want to get into the spoilers um, I mean these first couple of you know, uh, dungeons are very spoiler free I mean if I mean I'm just going through the sewers there's nothing huge or revelly uh, or there's no revelations going on um, but at least you get an idea of what to expect. I mean, there's this like, weird stutter. And again, I don't know if that's if that's because I'm recording and it just doesn't agree well with um, the uh, NVIDIA recording software or if this is just the game itself. I'll, and I will have to report that so that hopefully I remember to do that. Um, and I but I will say for first impressions, I'm impressed with what I see so far. I'm not gonna say I'm impressed. I should say I'm content. I, I was like, okay, it's not as, oops, sorry. It's not as bad as I thought it was. I mean, some people made this game out to be like really, really, really bad. I mean, there are certainly issues, but there's some fun things about it too. And um, if I were to hate Torchlight 3 for what it is, then, then I would never play it. But you know what? I love the game. I absolutely love it. It's quirky and I love the art style. I love the way they do the characters and, and, and everything about it. So um, I tend to try to at least play the game before I make uh, an actual judgment. So um, anyway, I hope that this video was enlightening for you. And I hope it at least gave you a little bit better idea. If you are still kind of on the fence about it, uh, by all means, please post a question or comment in, uh, in the comment section below and I will address it as quickly as possible so that way um, you can make a decision a little bit faster, especially if the decision on whether or not to pull the trigger is going to be contingent upon that. Um, I can hopefully kind of get to the point to what you know, you're know you asking me. If you're saying, well, what's the end game like? Obviously, I'm not going to get there. I'm not going to get there that quickly. So. Um, what I will do, though, is if you have if you have some questions that I can answer quickly, or I can, um, you know, if you're curious about other classes, I can get in there, just look at them real quick, and and um, see what I can see. Uh, I'll show it in the next video. All right. Um, okay. Well, that's it for now. Then uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please throw it a thumbs up and come back for more as for more ARPG and more gaming. Uh, information and gameplay tutorials impressions reactions unboxings uh, whatever you might like I kind of do it all um, at, at no regular intervals because I'm not monetized and very small youtuber so um, I just do this because I enjoy it so I will talk to you later hopefully soon horseman out